<laughs> Go, baby. Get down, ain't you? All right, me and Carter's going again. Finally making another video. We've got a big load of uh, sycamore to get. I've got a trailer behind me right now. Not how well you can see that, but it's an old rough double axle trailer, but it can hold a lot of wood. So there's a sycamore cut up up here and uh, we're going to just load it up. It's already cut up into pieces and there's even a couple beautiful slabs out of it that I plan to get as well. So there's a whole lot of wood. I came and took a look, look at it last night. So uh, we're just going to pick it up now and bring it back home and see if I can split some of it. There's, there's another tree in there as well that's not sycamore. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we're gonna find out when we get up here to try to anyways. But anyways, uh, we're heading there now, so. Once we get there, I'll turn the camera back on. Went wild. here we are today getting a bunch of sycamore I guess an arborist came and cut this down for him I brought my truck in this trailer here 18 foot dual axle bunch of sycamore a big tree real big tree look at that thing it was dead in the middle huh yeah Some guy brought a meal out here too, she was telling me. And look look at the slab he left here. Big sycamore slab, I'm taking that. Yeah, Beautiful that slab. And then there's more sycamore there. And like I said, this is the hardest wood I've ever split in my life. It really is, I wouldn't exaggerate when I said that. She was saying she thought this was maple, that's what it looked like to me too. It's a pile of maple here actually got a load to deliver so i'll probably be using some of this set's been down for a while and then back here in the back this is, looks like mainly limb wood a lot of wood here a whole lot of wood here only thing is i can't get back here close to these piles because it's so muddy i was actually start spinning where i'm at right there i may have to actually put it in four-wheel drive just to get out of here but that's all right Man, that slab is beautiful, too. I'm going to take that thing. But look at the wood here. I mean, this is a lot of wood. I don't know how how seasoned this sycamore is, but if it's green still, it's, it's going to be hard to split. Some big round still needs to be cut up, but look at that slab there. It's a beautiful slab. Man, he left one out here, didn't he? She said some guy came in with a meal. Look at this one, how pretty guy came over with the mail there's the pieces he left over there anyways go ahead and get started I'm just loading this up I'm not splitting I'm just loading it here Thank you. 
bunch back here. It's a bunch back here. A lot of wood here. A lot of work too to get it. If I get back here, it'd be so much easier, but I can't. It's too wet, I get stuck. Way too wet. They're trying to fix this lot up too. I don't wanna tear it up, especially with the trailer. I'll just be stuck. I know I've done it many times. Not worth it. get this maple here so i'm actually wanting this for a load got plenty of wood at the other places but i want i thought it'd be she contacted me and asked if i could get this stuff and i thought it would be cool to get a little change of scenery so get this maple here it's a long walk i don't know if you can tell how far that is pretty good walk up there get this maple before I get any more sycamore because he's got that we're filling the bed up and I'm planning to use some of this maple for another load it's been down for a while it don't take as long to season either as oak so we're getting this lot cleaned up and uh getting quite a bit of wood out of here I've heard mixed stories on sycamore some people say they don't like it some people say they do you know I know the BTUs aren't anything like oak but one guy told me it was really good stuff if you use it when it's seasoned, especially if you mix it in with harder wood. So, anyways, uh, I figured it'd be some good footage, and I can also get some down the middle for sycamore. Don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm gonna try it. Try to split them down the middle, and, and you know, with under a minute, and uh, get a lot of wood out of this. Thought it'd be a good change of scenery. Plus, it helps them out, clears the land up. So.
Jerry's gonna take a break here. Make a little soda pat. We got the bed filled up pretty much, don't we? Yeah. There's still a little room in it, but yeah, trailer's does. got quite a bit of room. Oh, and that slab's beautiful. Somebody came out here and milled that with a mill. I don't know if she's saying a chainsaw mill or they used a actual saw mill, some kind of portable mill or what, but whatever they did, they did a really good job. They took a lot of it off, but they left that one for some reason. I'm going to take it. She said she didn't want it. She wanted a couple of those cookies to try to use for tabletops. They're huge. That was a big sycamore tree, really big sycamore tree. I know a while back I said I was going to quit drinking pop. That's something I've struggled with my whole life. I think diet pop, but still it ain't healthy for you. It up blown up Mountain Dew. <laughs> it looks like it froze. <laughs> Probably tastes the same, don't it? Better. Better? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of wood out of this, ain't we? Oh, a whole lot of wood out of this. I just don't look forward to really that sycamore. Because if it's green at all, it's... I mean, I kind of do because I want to show. I've been talking about it for a long time. I don't want to show on there. Show people what I'm talking about when I say that's the hardest wood I've ever split in my life. Mm -hmm. Worse than Elm, even. Elm always acts so thin. Yeah, it penetrates Elm. It don't... And sycamore's green, it don't even penetrate. <laughs> it, that mower bounces off of it. Some people don't realize either. Like I had a lot of guys tell me to sharpen my axe. You don't realize some of those big rounds, whether your axe is sharp or not, it, it kind of bounces. Yeah, them all. And, and depending on the type of wood it is, it just kind of bounces off of it. Depending on the, the wood and how big the round is and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was way too big. Yeah, it's huge. It was hard for you to do. That's four feet wide, probably. <laughs> We're going to get back to it now. We just want to take a little soda break. Mainly, I did that for Carter, honestly. Because I, I know it, he gets tired, and I get tired too. But normally, if it's just me, I'll uh, keep pressing on until I get at least to a certain goal done. But when you got him, you got to let him get broke in. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's heavy for a little... 60 pound boy. Some of these are too big to be lifting. You can lift them, but I can lift them, but I ain't trying to carry them that far on my shoulder. It's a 150 pound round right here, probably.
It's a big tree. Big tree. Still a lot of wood here too. Yep, it's a huge sycamore. Slab, a pretty sycamore slab in it. Maple wood, sycamore. <laughs> the load on that truck. That is a big load on that truck. What you doing, Angel? The load it puts on that. Definitely better to have a half ton or or a three quarter ton or a one ton for sure. So there's a half ton. Gets it done. Got it done many times, really. And we've got it done many times like this. This is limb wood on the top. The Carter threw that on, but mainly down here is actually rounds of sycamore like that. Yep, there's some right there. Real distinct at the top of that sycamore is real pretty wood. Maple, that's some heavy maple. Good splitting stuff, though. <laughs> Why are you doing that stuff? Huh? huh? So I'm going to stack it too. Along the driveway here. The wood's going to be getting stacked here and that way. Yep, she loves them leaves, don't she? Yeah, that is a load on that truck. Must like your hair, Camden. <laughs> 